Thank you and welcome to Let's Talk Business podcast with Tri-County Regional Black Chamber of Commerce. This show is so special today, everybody. I had to put a sports coat on. We have none other than Miss Leandria Thompson, our president here with us. Hi, Mr. Thompson. How are you doing? Hi, Howard. And then we have our vice president for uh, the Fort Bend County region, Mr. Oliver Cuckoo. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> welcome, welcome. So today is Friday, January the 29th. Um, first off, we want to start off by thanking our President Club members. They are our sponsors, and that is Amico Federal Credit Union and Enlightened Enterprises. They support our podcast, and if you are interested in supporting our podcast, we are looking for sponsorship. We accept sponsorship. Please contact us at 832-875-3977. All right, let's hop into it today. Everybody know what the month of February is considered across the United States. It's Black History Month, so we're taking the time out on this podcast to give a tribute to black history. We're talking about history made, but the good part about it is there is history that is in the making right now. And you on here today listening, participating in anything going on with black people are a part of that history that's being made. But I'm going to let Ms. Thompson talk to you about it a little more because she's... She kind of opened my eyes to kind of sit back. She she actually prompted me to take a step back and look in the mirror and say, how am I a part of this? You know, and I asked myself that question and I, I challenge everybody listening today to kind of ask their self that question. Take that step back and ask yourself, how are you a part of black history in the making? So, Ms. Thompson, can you elaborate? I sure can elaborate. <laughs> Thank you. How you a part of black history in the making? Exactly. If you black. <laughs> right? <laughs> if you black. You you a part of black history yes, in indeed. the making. Yes, and indeed. it does not have anything to do with skin color. Mm -hmm. It's ethnicity and it's origin. Exactly. Okay? So, uh no matter, you know, what you want, if you know you're black and you know your origin and you know uh, where you came from, then you are creating history. Well, there's some people that don't know they're black, but they're black. Because <laughs> <laughs> they they're not black in color. Exactly. That's the, that's the issue because mm -hmm. we come in all the spectrum, right, exactly. Oliver? We come from the fairest all the way down to the darkest. Yeah, you know, I, my absolutely. grandfather, we used to call him Midnight because <laughs> he was so dark in color. But the man was such an awesome um, a, a, a example of what I call a black man. Uh, he took care of, his family was very important to him mm -hmm. and his grandchildren were even more important because I remember him saying things like, he just loved hearing us say, Hi, Granddaddy. <laughs> he would come in from work, mm -hmm. and we would run out there and jump all over him and call him Granddaddy. And that was one of the most, uh, I, I as, as an adult now, but when I was a kid, I could tell that that excited him. Mm -hmm. And now I understand what that meant to him. And so now, because we are Tri-County Regional Black Chamber of Commerce, it had again it has nothing to do with skin color. It's culture. It's culture and it's ethnicity. Mm -hmm. And every day we are making history. Yes. Every day, Oliver, you <clears throat> made history. You made history what three weeks ago or two weeks ago when you became DBE certified. That's correct. Isn't That's that correct. history? That's, that, absolutely. <laughs> and then, in addition to that, too, I think that talking about making history, try uh, County Regional Chamber of Commerce makes history every day, every day in its effort to uh, bring uh, economic uh, 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 prosperity to the black and minority mm -hmm. communities. So Tri-County in itself, on a daily basis, continues to make history. 
of which we are celebrating today. Exactly. Okay? And so yeah. it, is very, it is very important, though, that our, our, our people out there realize that, that we continue to make history, and we encourage them to come and see the history that is being made and be and participate in it with us to make this history. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. And so this is why I completely encourage everybody to uh, look to uh, our chamber, the Tri-County Regional Black Chamber of Commerce, and see what it is we are doing so you can be a part of this history that we're speaking about today. Yes, thank you, Oliver, uh, for letting everybody know that they can be a part of history because it's, we hear Black History Month. Mm -hmm. Black history is made every day. Absolutely. Every day. Absolutely. Every day. And what we hope to gain from the, the next 30 days in our podcast that we're going to be presenting the tribute to black history is that is a month that we're going to make so impactful to where it will resonate through the rest of the year yeah. and from then on. People be asking, can we do this in March and April yeah. and May? Yeah. Can we do this year round? We made history today. How? Who can we share that with? Exactly. Every exactly. day we will be making history. But, when a member comes in with no idea mm -hmm. of how to start a business, mm -hmm. but know that they have this passion mm -hmm. and they want to start a business, guess what they did? They when they made, made that first step, they made, they made history. Absolutely. And we yes, have to indeed. we have to we have to encourage them and also make them aware of the the history that they are making. See a, a lot of people don't know and you know, they say if you knew better you'd do better. But I'm finna jump back to Oliver real quick. You think you're finna talk and just get away. Tell us about yourself. <laughs> Tell us what you do. Tell us what you do outside the chambers. What 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 type of business do you have or businesses do you have? Okay, well, thank you so much. I, uh, I'm a family-oriented uh, uh, person, so the businesses that I do, I do uh, in conjunction with my family. Mm -hmm. So my, I got three sons, mm -hmm. and all of us work together in everything that we do. Oh, wow. So uh, between three of us, uh, we uh, operate uh, uh, three businesses, uh, janitorial business, mm -hmm. uh, trucking, mm -hmm. and also a little bit of uh, construction. Okay. Uh, as we speak right now through the... Uh, uh, help of the chamber, we were able to get certified as as a hub, mm -hmm. as a small business with Metro, mm -hmm. and also uh, as a DBE. Okay. So through the chamber, we've been able to certify our businesses. Okay. okay? And uh, we uh, intend to, uh, you know, do a whole lot more stuff, mm -hmm. you know, with the help that we get from from the chamber and the members of the chamber. Mm -hmm. Okay. So because what I find but it's very interesting also is that there are so many people in the chamber who are in the same line of business as we are in, mm -hmm. and we are collaborating with them. Like, mm -hmm. for instance, as we speak right now, um, uh, bidding with another chamber member who is also Metro certified. Mm -hmm. So together, we're Going able to... Work. Yes, exactly. So mm -hmm. uh, the chamber has really helped me in, uh, in trying to advance my business mm -hmm. interest. Making history. Making history. Interesting history. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You're making so history. I, I have yes. I have something to admit. I didn't know you were in construction. So, you know, that's what I do. I, I have a construction company. I also have a trucking company. I have a logistics company as well. Um, we service, we have um, 10 trucks in, uh, in Atlanta right now. So I'm working in Atlanta. But, I mean, just a lot of times when you don't, tell people who you are and what you do, especially if you're they're in your network, then you really don't know. Like, you know, there now now the opportunity is there for us to collaborate on some stuff, mm -hmm. construction. But if you're listening and you notice what Oliver said, he said he collaborated with other chamber members to go after work. So that's what the chamber is about. You know, there there are other members here who do what you do. That doesn't mean that you're in competition with each right, other. Absolutely. That means that you have the opportunity to compete with other companies and joining together makes you stronger. Uh, we were having an off the air conversation about unity, you know, just a few minutes ago mm -hmm. about, you know, about men and women and businesses alike working together yeah. to yeah. achieve you know the goals that they're going after you're so much stronger in numbers but you i won't say you i'll say that there has been a attempt to reprogram your mind that 
independency is the best thing for you. All the single ladies, independent women, put your hands up. That is, it's a cool song, and that's what it is. But in the world of business, in the world yeah. of anything you yeah. do, you, you need to. help. Absolutely. The more help you have, the better. The more quality help you have, the less time that you'll spend bumping your head trying to right. do things for yourself. That's right. That's right. Well, how? Well, let's go back. Yeah. Remember we said history made? Yeah. If you go back to history, period, world history, U.S. history, Africa history, uh, uh, what you call it, Caribbean, South America, Asia. You, if you go back to history, you see that nothing was accomplished individually with one person. Absolutely. Mm. History. We made history. Uh, you know, normally I don't say I don't bring up any partisan uh, topics, but we make history mm -hmm. when we come together. We make history, yeah. and and that history a lot of times, if people think history is past stuff, mm -mm. that's what that was what happened. Mm -hmm. nope. But it happened during a period of time. Right, that's what makes that it was in end, mm -hmm. and so don't just look at history that was made. Yeah, we have Frederick Douglass, we have Malcolm X. We have who is it? The Martin Luther, Luther King. King. We have W. B. Du Bois, Randolph. Um, yeah, I can't name them all. Madam C. J. Walker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these people made history while they were alive. Yeah, Booker right. T. Washington. Mm -hmm. Booker T. Yeah, Marcus Garvey. Yeah, they right. made history while they were alive. Well, guess what? Are we alive? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we are making <laughs> history every day we made history in this country right and let, 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 let me speak to mm -hmm. the uh what i believe also is an invitation uh for us as black people to continue to participate in history as as of today mm -hmm. i mean uh, i think it was a couple of days ago uh i think for the first time in the history that i can remember there has been a tacit acknowledgement by a sitting president that there is racial disparity mm -hmm. in this country that mm -hmm. needs to be addressed. Exactly. And to that end, the president had signed an executive order, okay, which uh, was mandating uh, his administration to make sure that they seek to address the racial inequality. Mm -hmm. That in itself is history, okay? Yeah. And then I think that we as, 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 as black people need to see how we can uh, take advantage of that opportunity as mm -hmm. is presented to us today. And yeah. so for us, uh, what it means is that uh, we need to uh, uh, see how we can uh, set up businesses, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Because it is through these businesses that the black community is going to be empowered to address the said disparity, okay? Mm -hmm. And so I'm thinking that it's very, very important that the black people today should see that as an opportunity to participate mm -hmm. in a history that is going to change our circumstance for generations to come. Right. Okay, and so I invite everybody to actually uh, pay attention to what is going on right now and then come to a chamber like ours because we serve uh, four, uh, regions. four regions and, and 12, 12, counties. 12 counties, and we are the only chamber that does that. Yes. I mean, I mean, yeah. the, it is an objective fact, okay, mm -hmm. that we are the only chamber that has that reach. Mm -hmm. So I encourage everybody to participate in the history that I believe that is in the making, okay? And so please, people should go to our website and try to take advantage of the, uh, of the, uh, of the pending opportunities that I believe is coming to us. And let's use that to continue to make more history. Thank you. That, that website so. is TC tcbcc.org yes you got it <laughs> now you can TCBCC. also tcbcc.org <clears throat> tri-county black chamber of commerce right. dot but, org yeah. and you can also go to www.tricountyregionalblackchamber.org and we got a little glitch that we're uh, asking our webmaster to Please. straighten out for us because when people search us mm -hmm. 
It does. They, it, it takes them to our sister chamber. Yeah, that's correct. That's, 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 that's <coughs> yeah. Uh, yesterday. Well, that's correct. Yeah, which is a uh, Galveston Regional mm -hmm. Chamber. Mm -hmm. And uh, we became sister chambers back in 2011. And so I guess we kind of like didn't realize, you know, there's a lot. This is why we need more members. We exactly. Need, we need people who can say, hey, we can do this. Yeah. Hey, let us get that. Let's come together and make things, uh, things happen. So, Oliver, thank you for uh, continuing to let our listening audience and our viewing audience um, that we are here to serve. We are here to come together. It's not about uh, just being a chamber of commerce. It's about making history. Yeah, I mean, that, that's we, the mission. Yeah, it's about yeah. making history. And in making history, what, what is our mission statement? I don't read it. We I know are, you got We are it committed to acquiring and disseminating valuable information, resources, and tools to help our member firms achieve entrepreneurial parity and economical prosperity in the, the region and internationally. And, international. and I didn't read it. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't read it, but he it, he didn't say it verbatim. Well, yeah. Hey, let me see. Let me see. You, he, you did a good job, okay. how you, you did a good job. You did a good job. You did a good job. Very I tried. Good. So but when we break that down, Howard, when we say this uh, acquire, um, yeah, acquiring and disseminating, mm -hmm. that, what that mean? We we actually go out and get, get information. That's right. That's right. That's we right. get that. We acquire it. Mm -hmm. It don't just come to us. Yeah. We we That's get it. We, we yeah. We reach out for it. We get it. Mm -hmm. And once we get it, we don't just have it and say, well, we got this information. Yeah. We disseminate it. And in disseminating, I mean, we don't just put it up. We send out information to members in whatever specific area that they are wanting information in. Right. And the reason why we are able to uh, acquire this valuable business information, resources, and tools is because one of the reasons is that we have strategic partnerships. Yeah, mm -hmm. we have a bunch you know, of strategic we have partnerships. Yes, strategic we partnerships with all kinds of uh, entities mm -hmm. that give us the real-time information that you will need to mm -hmm. move your businesses forward. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, you right. And and if you our, go to our website, you'll see who those partners mm -hmm. are. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and while we're talking about our strategic partners, I just want to take a pause again to thank you know our President Club members who support this podcast, which is Amico Federal Credit Union, they're one of our strategic partner members, mm -hmm. and Enlightened Enterprises, they support this podcast. And like I say, if you're interested in supporting the podcast, please, please, please get in contact with us, 832-875-3977. Um, but some of our other partners are uh, SBA, um, Oliver talked about Metro, Metro mm -hmm. Southwest Airlines, they, man, now, Southwest Great Airline partner. has been a partner since a, conception, a long time, 2005, yeah. and and I know now that they are uh, cutting back. Mm -hmm. They're kind of they've been hit really hard yeah, because right. of travel. Yeah, okay. We've been hit really hard because we can't get to the, some of the places that we would like to mm -hmm. get to to complete and and stay involved in yeah. some of the things that we've started, like Country of Belize. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so yeah, Southwest yeah. Airlines, and now we have a new. Uh, we've had we added to that, and I see you got uh, them up there already. Uh, the UT system, U of H, Texas Department of Criminal Justice. Listen, these places they need services. Texas Department of Criminal Justice does not purchase anything, all the way down to toilet paper, uh, paper for the printer, ink for the printer. Um, Whatever it is that they need in the office, they outsource that to businesses. Mm -hmm. So being hub certified, if you're a historically underutilized business, which means you're a minority, and you have that certification, you can utilize that to become a supplier for... Did you know the hub program was historical? Yes. Just like what you're talking about mm -hmm. today with the president signed an order. Lyndon, Lyndon hub, New Jersey. Yeah, the hub program... Mm -hmm was history made, mm -hmm. and that history was made by people coming together yep. Yep. and saying, I do this, I do that. Mm -hmm. Don't don't call it that one. Okay. I do this. <laughs> I, 
I, I, yeah. You see that one too? Office Depot, Office Max. Yeah. Oh, we get great, yeah, great discounts from right. Office Depot and Office yeah, Max. Yeah, that is a Pretty, very supportive. Right. Uh, it, I mean, the discounts you receive on it is just amazing. Lift Fund, Primacore Solutions. I mean, we have so many. Uh, Wood Forest National Bank. That's right. They're yeah. all strategic yes, partners yes, that support the chambers and not just the chambers their members so if you're not a member of the chamber please go to our website or give us a call at 832-875-3977 and talk to us about membership a conversation is right, free right, 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 it right, could right. change how you do business it could change the amount of revenue you have flowing through your business i know it will change the amount of information, resources, and tools that you have. Oh, and, 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 and to that point, you're absolutely correct, Howard. And to that point, we got to understand that making it in life, for the most part, is all about information. Mm -hmm. It's all about information. Yep. That is why incorporated in our mission statement mm -hmm. is the word disseminating of information. I think, I think so, it's two parts, but go ahead and finish okay. well, it. Well, it's, 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 it, in, in my opinion, it is... Mm -hmm. Uh, information, ninety percent and ten percent hard work. Exactly. Okay, so because exactly. those have got to be yeah. uh, are used together. But I yeah. think that information is a whole lot it more yeah. valuable. I, I, I can say key. this because you can be working hard mm -hmm. on the wrong thing yeah. right. because you like the information. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But with the proper information mm -hmm. and a little bit of hard work, mm -hmm. that right there to me. Okay, is well the then key. I'm gonna put three things on it. You have this book here, mm -hmm. but if you never open this book, then it's just information in your hand. But if you open it and you use it, then it becomes a tool. So the information is first. How you use that information is second. And the amount of sweat equity you put into it is third. Then right there comes in the chamber because the chamber <laughs> exactly. is going exactly. to help you to show you how to use that information. The first two. It'll give you the first you know two. So It'll give you the information and how to use it. So anyhow you slice this cake, the chamber <laughs> is where you need to go to. I mean, just like that. It, 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 and, and, and the reason we have new member orientation it's because you need to come over. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, the, new, the reason we have new member orientation it's not for us. Is, is so that the member knows mm -hmm. the chain is only strong mm -hmm. as its weakest, weakest link. link. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And where that link lies is we are not your business. Mm -hmm. You are your business. You're the link to us. Mm -hmm. We will provide you with the information, with the with the direction and uh, uh, refer you to other people, we will we'll, we'll, we'll mentor. But when it comes down to the work, you got to do it yourself. You got to do Absolutely. the work. And I, I've been saying this for a long time. I don't know where I where I, I won't say I stole it, but where I got it from, where I acquired it from. But I tell people this all the time, and it's it's here at the chambers. You're in business for yourself. But not by yourself. Not by, it's a true, very true. Yes, yeah, it's a true statement. And guess what? We made history. Yeah. You know why we made history? Every year we keep. <laughs> we keep the doors every, open. Every year the doors are staying open. That's right. That's every right. year members are coming. Every time a person becomes certified, that is history. So I really want to just home in and 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 propound mm -hmm. the fact that history is being made. Every day, each individual, when you wake up in the morning, you've made history, and now you can make history. Okay, I have I have two questions. I have one for Oliver and one for Miss Thompson. Uh -huh. um, and this, these questions are really they're they're for you, Oliver, but they're really for the people listening. And my my question is to you is well, it's a two part question. First part is how did you find out about the chambers? And then secondly, what made you join? <laughs> two, two, two very good questions. Uh, how I found out about the chamber, I had gone to uh, an event uh, in the city of Houston, uh, hosted by the mayor. Mm -hmm. uh, and on that panel, 
uh, we are three uh, chambers of commerce in uh -huh. the Houston area. Okay. One was uh, Tri County. Okay. The other was an Indian chamber. Uh -huh. And the other was uh, Mexican. Hispanic. Uh, Hispanic. Yeah. So it was easy for you because yeah, the, the other two didn't look. No, like no, 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 no. But check this out, though. Okay. So when uh, the guy from the Indian chamber was making his presentation mm -hmm. and telling us about uh, his chamber, mm -hmm. he told us that in his chamber, they choose who they accept mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. that they you know they they, they vet you and choose you yeah. but when miss leandria who that was the first time i met her when it was her time to speak she came up and said well in her chamber she doesn't choose you know what i mean yeah. everybody is welcome everybody is invited <laughs> i'm like what I'm like, okay well that's where i need to go yeah you know I mean? so uh i approached her that day and after the thing i asked her well mr thompson i'm very interested in this chamber of yours mm -hmm. that is all inclusive and does not exclude anybody yeah because that's the kind of people i like to associate myself with mm -hmm. people who make it up make the opportunities available for everybody yeah. who wants it. Mm -hmm. now, so based on that, I, uh, you know, uh, came, got an appointment with her and uh, joined the chamber. And since I joined that chamber, it's been two years now, I've gotten my Metro certification, I've gotten my HOP certification, and I've gotten my DBE certification. All in two years? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, so you That's can good. see, when I'm very passionate about people joining this chamber, it's because of what I know myself. Mm -hmm. It's because of what I have seen mm -hmm. about the chamber. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree with you all because yeah. I know what I've seen. Yeah. We, I, we have seen over 500 people become HUB certified. Mm -hmm. That, to me, was history. Yep. No other, uh, at the time, it had not been happening. Yeah, because I think, when I joined the Chambers, I didn't know nothing. I, I've, I've seen that certificate on the wall in, in uh, a business that I worked in, but mm. I, I had no idea what a oh, DB, what right. I just thought it was a certificate that he got. It's a disadvantaged business <laughs> enterprise. I was like, so, oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, you're that's right. Like so. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's, let's get to work. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a paycheck, you know. But, you know, when I came here, I, I sat down and I started talking to Miss Thompson and she started asking me questions. She was like, well, do you have this? I was like, and I'm very transparent. So my response to that was like, I don't know what that is. That's the best way to be. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, and I learned that. I learned that a long time ago mm -hmm. that if you don't know something, it's okay not to know. Absolutely. But it's not okay to act like you, like you know, know. Absolutely. When yeah. you don't. Because yes, then you won't learn. Yes, then indeed. you won't learn a thing. Close my don't get fed. Yeah. <clears throat> and so yes. my hey, hey. <laughs> no yeah, kind of way. No open, they never <laughs> going in. Is it? <laughs> so okay, so here's my question for Miss Thompson. Miss mm. Thompson. Yes. What made you want to start a chamber of commerce? Not just a chamber of commerce, a black, black. chamber of yes, commerce. Indeed. In Texas. Well, oh, my story. The short version. Okay, okay. Because I've been <laughs> short I'm yeah. going to my story go way back. The, the short version is I had the opportunity to see some things. Okay. And I asked questions. Mm -hmm. And the answers that I got did not make me feel like I understood mm -hmm. the answer. Because it did not match up with my question. Mm -hmm. And the reason I had a question is I saw some things. Mm -hmm. So I saw things going on and I didn't see things going on and I asked the question and the question did not address. So I'm saying, okay, what is it that we need to do? Mm -hmm. Go back to information. This is why you see the mission statement. Mm -hmm. Acquire and disseminate valuable business information. What you've said and what you've said, Oliver, without information, we do not know next the step. Mm -hmm. Without information and the willingness mm -hmm. to, to receive this information. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, when I was a kid, we used to hear all the time, when the student is ready to learn, mm -hmm. the, the teacher, teacher will, will appear. appear. Mm -hmm. So when you're ready to get to that next level, mm -hmm. that teacher, that person is going to help you get from this place to that place. Now, that may not be the person that gets you to H, right. yeah. but it could be the person that gets you from A to B. Right, right, right. 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 That right. person was there just for that That's purpose. Right. Exactly. And so when I asked the question, Lord, what, what are we to do? 
-hmm. How does that information, how is it, how can it be given out? How can it be spread? How can we know? Because I saw things coming in and it didn't get disseminated. Mm -hmm. You just got put somewhere. Put under the rug. Or you see people with the information and they use it, but never teach you how to use or it. Or they never shared. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. And so I saw a lot of things happening, and I asked a question. And I, I asked the question of what I called a, a spiritual question. Mm -hmm. Where, How do we get this information, and where do we go? What is it that we need? I During that time, I'm going to say this. The word black has been around for years. Well, it's, it's it's not a new word. People scared of it. And when I and when I looked back and did a little history in in terms of black history, <laughs> I was seeing that there was a shift. Now you know, at one point in time we were called Negroes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, which was 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 supposed to be our ethnicity, mm -hmm. but of course history came about. And it changed to two things. Color. Well, you, we, you got the color before we got to that part. We got the color, which, all right. And then we went to the African American, which was, huh? <laughs> okay. And then it went to, okay, if you want to be black, let's just use black. Okay. <laughs> So nowadays you have options, right, mm -hmm. of anything you want to be. And, uh, and so it was like, how do we get the information out mm -hmm. to our people? I, I, you, you will find very seldom, Howard, will you, and, and how, Oliver, and you, I think you both know this, you'll never hear the word minority come out of my mouth if mm -hmm. I can help it. Yeah, I, I noticed that. Yeah. Uh, there is no such thing. Thing. Unless it's like in a title and you just have to read yeah, it. Yeah, if I have to, but yeah. I, I don't buy into the word because what does that word mean? Yeah. It implies that that's a superior. Yes, yes. Right. That yes. Somebody is, somebody superior. is somebody is yeah. somebody is up and somebody <laughs> yeah. is down. It doesn't, it doesn't classify the amount of people that we have. It's 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 actually a classification on the. To amount me, it's of a separate yeah. word. It's a yeah. separative, separatism yeah. word. Yeah. Minority. Yeah. When you are in a meeting, you have a vote, right? Mm -hmm. If the majority vote yes, then the vote is yes. The people who didn't are called the minority, right? Mm -hmm. So they didn't get what they wanted. So in a way, in a way, you you programming yourself. It's an acceptance mm -hmm. of uh, an of, 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 an, of an inferiority exactly. position. Exactly. So I what you're saying with exactly. That and I don't use the word whenever I can help it mm -hmm. because I do not believe that anybody is less than anybody. Absolutely. When it comes to an individual. Yes, indeed. No matter what, what your color is, what your religion is, we're all human beings and we all come in and go out. And that is recognized by the Constitution of the United States where it says all men are created and equal. equal. And we the, the people. people. Mm -hmm. We the people. And if we're the people, then let's be people. The people. And let's find ways to work together. together. Now, Absolutely. of course, when we talk about ethnicity, well, I don't I, I don't understand your, your your way of life. I don't understand your culture. But I do understand this culture. Mm -hmm. And so we haven't had in, in the US we have a multicultural very society. Mm -hmm. Are we understanding? The, the, is there cultural understanding? Mm. I mean, that's another historical milestone mm. that needs to take place. But the one that we're interested in right now is who are we in the, scrape, in the scheme of uh, where we're supposed to be in the history that is constantly being made every day, okay? So you asked me the question. Yeah, what made you start? So the, the, the question, so what I take from that is, you know, you, you, you asked the question, the answer you received mm -hmm. wasn't sufficient. It wasn't, it did not satisfy, it did not satisfy you. So you asked another question. The question you asked prompted you to ask a question. And you asked a question from somebody who could give you direction on it. Mm -hmm. um, 
I know in us talking, I, I know the story. I mm -hmm. asked the question for other people listening, but you said that you were given a vision mm -hmm. and that's what, what came from the question you asked. Yeah, so. the vision, because I asked the question, the vision came, this, this is what you must do in order for history mm -hmm. to be made and, and, and change the way history appeared to be going mm -hmm. because history is, is, is every day. <clears throat> it's, it's whatever yesterday, Yesterday was history. Mm, absolutely. So if you can see the direction that history is going to be going, how do you change it? And so the way the, the vision that I was given was through the Chamber of Commerce uh, because economics has definitely changed the history of anybody's life. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. And so since business is a part of the economics, I looked, business is economics, and I looked back and I did a little research on our history. Mm -hmm. And in 1954, what we would call the market, mm -hmm. this black market that was uh, newly uh, given freedom from slavery, now had amassed $15 billion. Mm -hmm. Now this is back in 1954. So I'm bringing up some historical information, and, 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 and these are things that we're going to be talking about for the, the whole month of February. We're going to talk about the history that had been made and how that history needs to be continued to constantly be made. Absolutely. What happened? How did people amass the amount of wealth? that they had that you don't even know they had. Madam, I'm sure people have heard of Madam C.J. Walker. Mm -hmm. We're bringing her up because she was a self-made millionaire and first woman millionaire. It had nothing to do with color. Mm -hmm. yeah. First made, first self-made millionaire. And, and how would you looking at this book yeah, this that book. we had last year that we promoted mm -hmm. so that we could get more and more information out there about history that was made in order for us to Understand. make history now. Mm -hmm. yep. This was the 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 pre course for you know what we're trying to do, and I I was really impressed. It's I won't say it's not hard to impress me, but it's I am impressed by things that I don't see a lot. And to see a, a book, it's called the Black Business Book, and it emphasizes over 200 facts that emphasizes on history of black business in America. Now, check this out, listeners. From 1800s, mm -hmm. that's 1800, mm -hmm. we're in 2021 now, uh -huh. 1800s to 1960. So black people were in business, black businesses, in the 1800s. Just... I mean, just think about that. And yeah. and when I when I started flipping through this book, it was just so easy to keep going. I'm like, oh man, uh -huh. like MIT had a black graduate in in the 19, 19 1840s. Oh, you had Ben Carson, like, a surgeon. I was like, what? I mean, like MIT had a black graduate in the 1800s. I, I, so the information was just. It was it was amazing, and all it told me was that if they did it back then with the resources they had then, yes. it should be so much easier. Oh, I was, yes. that's the, as, as you were narrating that history, that's exactly what I was saying to myself. I'm like, if we could have done this then, mm -hmm. with all the impediments against us and all the obstacles intentionally yeah, exactly. placed on our way, and we could achieve that then, exactly. then, wow. listen, man, I mean, why not now? But why you not know, now? But yeah. you know why not? You know why it isn't, or it hasn't been achieved like that? It's because we don't have the information. 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 We yes, don't indeed. know. Yes. yes indeed. How, how many? How many? If you ask a young person, then I when I say young person, somebody around thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, they don't know. Mm -hmm. Information had not been flowed down. You don't. We make history every day. Absolutely. We make Absolutely. history every day. Absolutely. But you, it, the history that you make today mm -hmm. 
-hmm. is based upon knowing what the history was mm -hmm. yesterday. And see, and see the 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 problem. I won't say problem. Challenge. Because yeah, the challenge for us now is that we're being taught by people who don't look like us. Well, they don't know our history. In the 1800s, 1960s, you were taught by somebody who looked just like you. Like, you unfortunately... See I'm going I'm to interject based on what you're saying. This is why we say we are Tri-County Regional Black right. Chamber of Commerce. Not because we discriminate. Exactly. We don't discriminate. No. We have other ethnic groups that are members of the chamber. Absolutely. What it is, is culture. Exactly. Do we understand Black culture. the culture? Mm -hmm. And we understand the culture. Mm -hmm. The information that's given out, mm -hmm. is given out to everybody. Those who receive it, receive it because they understand it. Right. Those who don't receive it, they don't understand it. And our role is to create a platform Absolutely. of understanding. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. If we get it out there, yes, we're going to help you to understand it. And this is why we say we're Tri-County Regional Black Chamber of Commerce. To go back to a question that you had earlier. So the reason is to where everybody, when I go back to Booker T. Washington, we must, we're in a capitalistic society. Big time. Yeah. And, okay. Absolutely. And the basis of that is free enterprise, right? Mm -hmm. So what is free enterprise? Capitalizing on the listings. But free enterprise <laughs> is competition. Mm -hmm. If it's free enterprise, it's going to be based on competition. Absolutely. Fair competition. Fair competition. Because if it's not free enterprise, it'll be a monopoly. Mm -hmm. So by being free enterprise, anybody, GMT Radio can compete with KCOH mm -hmm. or Magic 102 or any body because this is a capitalistic society free enterprise and so what does that mean that means and i had a point mm -hmm. now i was getting to <laughs> good good well so the reason i brought why did i bring that up okay i'm getting you know i'm having my senior moment at the moment <laughs> but, That's all right. but the, the purpose is that we must get the information out there. We must get the history of what can be done, mm -hmm. who has done it, so that you know that you can do it too. Mm -hmm. Going back to what you were saying, mm -hmm. going back to the 1800s, mm -hmm. people were doing things. Yeah. Booker T. Washington said, let's get ourselves in position, mm -hmm. in place to do what? Compete. We gotta be in place to compete. And one of those, I believe, one of those uh, 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 places that we've got to be so we can properly compete is in getting our businesses certified. Yeah. I, I, I say this because a couple of days ago I was in an environment where I was having to explain uh, to some people uh, what certification meant. Mm -hmm. And I was kind of like, surprised to see that <coughs> most of them did not, uh, these are, were business owners, mm -hmm. black business owners, mm -hmm. they did not understand what certification, the, the importance of certification to their businesses. You see what I'm saying? They don't have a history. They don't have the history, exactly. So it is incumbent upon us, I believe, to disseminate that information out there mm -hmm. and let our black business owners know mm -hmm. that it is not enough to just have a black business. Well, I'm going to interrupt you for a second. I, you know this is me. <laughs> yeah. It's owners who happen to be black okay. of business. Business, yeah. business is business. Yeah. That's true. That so our true. owners are black. Black, that's true. So, Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So it, it is important that they, because the guy was surprised when I told him that, you know, the uh, businesses, the contracts that the state governments and federal governments do give, sometimes have uh, a set-aside goal that they must use certified uh, businesses to get that contract. Mm -hmm. So 
these people did not know that. They don't know the history. You know, exactly. You know what I mean? So, again, this business of history is very, very important mm -hmm. that our people need to know, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, uh, mm -hmm. the, what is required as of today in order to move forward. Well, see, they don't know what, they don't know what that means. They don't know what historically underutilized business mean or minority business enterprise because they don't know the history of what created it, those opportunities. Yes, when you hear uh, the, the president, you said, mm -hmm. sign into mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, law about the black, um, what was it? Racial disparity. Okay. Right. Then that was history. And that from that history created certain things to take place. Mm -hmm. The reason we have certification, it comes from a historical position of affirmative action. action. That's correct. Mm -hmm. But if you don't know about affirmative action, you don't know the history of affirmative action, then you will not make history. And that's what they don't know. Absolutely. So, our, so our listeners can look to the month of February. You yes. know what I mean? Look up our website because we're going to be providing information that yeah. is that has historical relevance yeah. to us <laughs> as we develop our businesses and get to the next level. Well, I'm, yes. I'm, I'm big on definitions, so as, as we get ready to close, you were talking about certification. So certification is a credential that you earn to show that you have specific skills or knowledges. They or knowledge. They are usually tied to an occupation, technology, or industry. Certifications are usually offered by a professional organization or a company that specializes in that particular field or technology. And then credential, credential is a qualification, achievement, personal quality, uh, personal quality, or aspect of a person's background. Typically, when used to indicate that they are suitable for something. So, getting a certificate or a certification just shows that you're suitable for that. If you're a minority, a hub certification shows that you are suitable to be qualified as a historically underutilized business. So, well, that you can do the work. Yeah. That's what that's what you're yeah. saying, suitable. Yeah. You, you, you are in business, and you are able to perform that business. Mm -hmm. and then, but it's a set, it's not a set, it's an affirmative action saying that these are the people, mm -hmm. this is the group who historically have been discriminated Absolutely. against, yeah. historically have not been utilized. Mm -hmm. That is history. Historically, you, even the word, you don't, you see, you hear H-U-B, but the word is historically. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Historically Absolutely. underutilized business. Yes, That's indeed. so Isn't clear that? history, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And that these, means not presently, business. but throughout history. But we're making yeah. history when we go and help our members Get to be that. certified. Mm -hmm. That's History continues. Absolutely. It, it is a continuous process. It's, it's a I continuous think, process. Think, um, Thank you. I wanted to say that inf information sets us up for two things. It sets us up for possibilities and opportunities. And the fact that the chamber gathers and disseminates, acquires and disseminates information, it sets our members up for possibilities and opportunities. Mm -hmm. That's correct. We're looking for possibilities and opportunities in your business, in life, in, in things that you're trying to do for, you know, for your business, then the chamber is a good place to be. Um, and I don't just say that because I'm here. I'm not the vice president because I came in and said I want to be vice president. I've, I, I, I support the chamber. I'm pro chamber. You can't, you can't. Unfortunately, you can't come tell me anything about the chambers. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm just being honest. I'm, I'm very transparent. So I'm pro chambers, and I support this chamber. I, I am, utterly grateful for the the information I've received, the help that I've received, the direction that I received in my own business. So, you know, and I can see I can see where I came from seven, eight years ago to where I am now. Mm -hmm. Um I turned down more jobs than I accept now. And there was a point where I was like I wasn't even in a position to go after any of the jobs. So I've been I my business and 
the the exposure and the information that I've received through the chambers has put my business in the position it's in now. So yeah. I'm grateful for the chambers and, and Ms. Thompson. Uh, and you had something you wanted yeah, to add? Yes, I, I couldn't uh, agree with you more, uh, Howard. To me, the chamber itself, I see it as an ignorance reduction enterprise, mm -hmm. okay, because w in it, you see the things that uh, uh, you never really thought about. I mean, I've been in business for a very long time myself, mm -hmm. but there are so many things that I had no clue of exactly. until I came into this chamber. You, you, know you, I mean? you, st you tell them my story. You can read my book. For real, I mean, can you imagine in the in 18 months to two years, mm -hmm. I've come from not knowing anything about certification to having three, three of them. certifications. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that would never have happened had I not come to this chamber. Yeah. So. You know, it, it is it, it is very very objectively obvious mm -hmm. the uh, uh, advantages yeah. and the importance of joining this chamber. I yeah. mean, it, it is it, what it is. It is very, and I also want to say, we do appreciate because without our strategic partners, mm -hmm. how do we get information out there? Because I think one of you mentioned about our strategic yes. partners. Yes. Provide us with information. No man is an island. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Although, you know, we have eth eth different ethnicities, different cultures, we must all work together yeah, exactly. for the good of the earth. Man one. and women. Man and woman. Man working together. and woman yeah. working <laughs> together. Okay? And we're going to tell you about that one next month. Uh, and that, that's why we're going to go on. But we, all, we must all work together. Yeah for the good and for prosperity. I agree. And this is why the, the, the Constitution, the preamble says, we, we the people, people, in order to form a more perfect union. That's correct. Okay, so we must work together, cross ethnicities, cross uh, cultures, mm -hmm. and we do appreciate all of our strategic partners. Absolutely. Without Absolutely. them, we would not have Absolutely. the information because we're not yes, the catch-all. Yes, we need each other. We yes, need everybody. We exactly. need the SBAs, the Southwest Airlines, the U of H, the uh, the State the Hub UT's Program, yeah. Metro. The I can name mm -hmm. them all. Yeah, yeah, I mean, but they're all on our website yes, exactly. because exactly. we do need them. And 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 look, and they need us exactly. Southwest Airlines needs you to get on that plane uh, yeah. and fly for business, <laughs> yes, right? Yes, indeed. Yes, and indeed. U of H has a program, their their hub program. They have to have people participating in that program. And, and if you don't understand it, what that means that the reason they need your participation is because they get funds. And those funds that if they don't have the minority participation it runs the risk of being cut short mm -hmm. because they won't get the funds anymore. So they have to get this minority participation. So like Ms. Thompson said, they need you. It's a win-win well, situation. Yes, yeah, a win-win. They, 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 you know, when we, when we think about it, they're in a position mm -hmm. to assist us in getting where we want to mm -hmm. go. Exactly. They're in the position. We're helping and, each other. And that's it. We're it's helping about them with their minority together. participation, win -win. and they're helping us. Right. And it's, it's a win-win. It is a win. It must be a win-win in order for right. us, in order for us to achieve mm -hmm. economic prosperity. Right. Yep. This has been a great, great podcast. Friday, January the 29th, 2021. Tribute to Black History. The president, Ms. Leandria Thompson, our vice president of uh, Region Two. Region Two, Fort Bend County, Mr. Oliver Nkuku, Howard Johnson, myself, the vice president here. Um, we still we want to thank Amico Federal Credit Union Enlightenment, Enlightenment yeah. Enterprises uh, for supporting our podcast. Um, as we end this week, we want to thank again our. Uh, Everybody who supports the Chambers um, and supporting our uh, Let's Talk Business podcast. Um, we want to thank our members as well. Yeah, thank man. We, we, we wouldn't be a Chambers without we members. members. Yes. We couldn't thank keep you. the doors open without <laughs> members and memberships. Yes, hey, thank members, you. look, if y'all have friends that's looking to, if they don't even know what they want to do in business, but they just have some questions, want to start a business, want some direction, give us a call. Give us a call here at the Chambers. We answer the phone. Yes, we do. All yes, the time. we do. Yes, we do. <laughs> Again, history made and history in the making. I have a challenge for everybody before we go. Pick up a book, a book that talks about black culture, black history. Read it. 
learn some stuff about it. If you have if you have the wherewithal, go get this book. It's called The Black Business Book by Anthony Brogdon. It, it's a great book. I think when we when we promoted it last year, yeah. I bought fifty copies and I gave them all away. I didn't I didn't we sell any of them. We got some new things coming for this year. Yeah, we got some new you. stuff coming. We want to bring some facts. Yep. We want you involved. We want yep. our audience involved. We want the chamber involved, the chamber members, as well as our uh, strategic partners. Yep. Let's Talk Business yeah. Podcast, <laughs> Tri County Regional Black Chamber of Commerce. Your host Howard Johnson signing off. Thank y'all for listening. Thank Have a great you. weekend.